Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I've got this big bit of MDF board. I just cut it up. I'll save you my um, uh, jigsaw cutting skills. I didn't want to put that on YouTube, it was terrible. So in the last video, I introduced this sit-up power supply, which I'm using with my PLC and my push button station, plus my fan output, right? So what I want to do now is I want to clean this up because this is just messy it's annoying for me to transport between you know it's, it's just annoying for me to transport around and then at the same time just it just yeah i want it on one board where i can just pick it up and move it about so what i'm thinking of doing is uh mounting this onto a din rail and then just cleaning up the wires basically and perhaps using terminal blocks so again never done this never used a din rail before never used uh, terminal blocks or anything like that so what I've done is for my next purchase, other than the MDF board, which I think for like this, but three times I paid like £14 for. What I've done is I've ordered these. So I can't remember what I paid for it. I'm going to guess like £25. But here I've got two DIN rails, which are these things. So the PLC and the power supply will go onto it. I believe just like, there you go. So that sits on that. So that gets mounted to the board behind me and then that pass by sits on it like that and the PLC does the same thing. So, cool, yeah. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that, mount, stick these on, and then I've got a bunch of terminal blocks. I believe this is just an end piece, end piece. Oh, they actually gave me crimps. So I didn't even need to buy some. <laughs> Screws, uh, numbers for terminal blocks. I mean, I don't, I, I don't really fully understand how these work, but I mean, obviously you can see there they're connected there. So I'm assuming what I actually wanted was kind of, okay, I think you can connect them. Oh, wait, I think you can tap things into there. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's first get my layout right and then we'll worry about these terminal blocks. So yeah. All right, so this is the top of my board, which as you can see is wonky, but I've just placed these two rails there and then I'm thinking something like that kind of goes. Yeah, I mean, I could always adjust it afterwards and I've got more boards to cut if I really mess it up. So yeah, let's wing it. I've mounted the DIN rail on there and it's not exactly straight and it is kind of bothering me, but whatever. Um, anyways, so I just need to crack on because unfortunately I don't have the time to perfect these things. So I've got my power supply here and I just clip it on like that and then I can move it around. And the PLC is probably gonna be, you know, clipped on something like that. But I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the wires first. It's all just a bit messy. Um, and then I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount this. Maybe take this back case off, yeah. Drill a hole in there or maybe, maybe there's a, those are mounting holes and then mount that somewhere down there. So that's the plan right now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but just thought I'd update you. Okay, so a few things I'm thinking about. Firstly, obviously I wanna stop this power supply from sliding around. So I know I need to use one of these end, uh, I believe this is an end, damn, I don't, I don't know, but regardless anyways, I use some, some of them at, at work. This is like a label one. So I wanna use an end piece, and let's assume that this is the end piece. To um, to stop it from moving, which I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. So that should go on there, and then it won't slide. Yeah, okay, so there you go. So now you can put that there, and then now that's not going to slide off, right? So uh, I'm just thinking about, like, for example, putting this in my car and, move, and moving it from place to place. Like, I've got to go to London for a few days, so I'm thinking of taking this with me. So it'd be nice to have this mounted on a board and nothing moves about. So there you can see like that now, that ain't sliding off thanks to that end piece. So that that is working good. So just to show you what that was again, that is this end piece here. They look different. So I'm used to the Wago ones, uh, which we use at work. This is like a cheap alternative from Amazon. So yeah, I mean, although the screws do look good. Okay, so the other thing I'm thinking about is these are ground terminals and they actually are grounded via using the din rail as well so if that was connected to like a big giant relay plate instead of a bit of wood it, it creates a very nice ground to be fair so we'll use some of these um 
I'm not sure how they click on, but we'll use some of these for grounding. And then I was thinking about making maybe like the blue as power as power terminals. And then so they, it comes with these, this uh, like connector or whatever. And so if I stick this in here, I believe, yeah, like so. Okay, yeah, and then you screw, you use the screws that they provide here. So use the screws to screw this down. And then now I should be able to basically just take my 24 volts, put it into one of these. And now I've got a 24 volt uh, power point to use instead of having multiple, like for example, what I've got here, that's just all messy. So if you have any advice on what, how I should do this and you can detail it in the comments, please leave that below so I can read and learn. And then I'm planning on doing a bunch of PLC projects. So this is my first one where I'm just getting very surface level experience. So forgive my stupidness, but I believe, yeah, I'll do these blue ones. Should be able to just snap these off easily as well. I'll, use, I'll do these blue ones to carry power, 24 volts. And then these would be for um, inputs and outputs. So I'll label them with the numbers that came with it, which are here. And then once I've done this, I'd like to make a nice wiring diagram as well. So if I remember, if I forget, please remind me. I should remember when I'm editing this video. Future Hamid, put a note down when you're editing this to do the next video as a wiring diagram. All right, I'm quite happy with what I've done so far. So I've just put like one of these big label blocks in here just to create a little bit of separation so I have some space. So what I've done is I've put in three blue terminals plus one ground one. The blues behave just the same as the normal gray ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick three of these in there and screw them down and then have those connected and those will be my 24 volt out. It should start to look quite decent the only thing i'm thinking about now is i you know i don't want the cables hanging around like this so you can get like trunking and um, to put trunking here and here which i have some so this is the trunking i only have a, a very small amount because i got it from work basically these are bits that were, i was going to throw away um so i just thought you know i'll take it i might be able to use it so it's supposed to go there so you can hide your cables so it would go like there and up there so i think i need to order some now uh i don't know if there's a shop i'd be able to buy these from hmm let's give it a google all right so unfortunately i'm dealing with scraps here but i had a look online and the uh the trunking uh the only place that's open now is selling it for like 30 quid 36 quid and i just i need to be on a budget so don't have unlimited salary or even high so what i've done is i've just taken two scrap pieces which I got from work. And so I'm gonna put cabling in here and here basically, and then you cover it like so. So the plan would be eventually, maybe uh, next month or I don't know, in a few months, I don't know, to put proper trunking along here, along the top there, and then down the sides here and down the sides on this side as well. And then that way I could put, for example, you know, another whole rack here and then trunking along the, along the bottom there. And it just hides all the cabling nicely. So that's the plan. All right, so I'm currently, I've just wired in this and I've just nailed it down. I don't have really the tools and stuff that I need, unfortunately. But what I'm doing is I'm taking out this longer 24 volt wire, which was going into here. And I'm just gonna wire this now, a shorter cable into this terminal block here. And I've just joined those three terminals together. So I should have 24 volts on all of them. And then do another short cable into here. So it's a bit silly. You wouldn't, I don't know if you would necessarily do this for just such a small system, but the plan is I want to make this scalable and I want to just be able to use this board, this, you know, set up here for many different projects. And again, this is just my first PLC project. So yeah, I'm going to try and do everything as properly as I can using my limited resources. All right, I'm not done, but it's looking a lot better and you can see the purpose of these, you know, so you can hide a lot of stuff in here like that. So again, I'm not done, but you can see I've got 24 volts into here and then also going back through here into the PLC. I can now tap into the rest of these for 24 volts. So let me just use my multimeter. So I've got my multimeter here and then now I just put it onto here and here. So this the next terminal here you see i got 24 volts and then the next terminal 24 volts 
So yeah, these terminals, it just, it looks nice. And, and I must say, I'm kind of umming and ahhing about just quickly running to Screwfix. Because this is where they sell these trunkings and buying it for £36. It just seems like a lot. <laughs> uh, I could go to the pound shop and just buy a bunch of these. Or even just like these and try to make it look clean. But it would be nice to use loads of these all the way across. I don't know. Okay, quick update. So I'm making good progress here. I found another little bit of trunking. I would love to pay. I'd love to be able to buy some more, but I'm not going to. Um, so I've just removed this din rail here now because I managed to get everything on this one, and I've uh, added on some connectors onto this fan. I don't like the way this looks, but the alternative would be to do some soldering or to remove these wires, and it's just a little bit long. So I've done it like that. Not great. I'd like to change this uh, output anyways, so currently I'm just driving a fan, but I like the fan because it makes noise and it's, vis it's, it's clear that it's on. So what I've done is I've just removed the screws from this, I'm going to just lift this up and I'm planning on just basically mounting this here. And then so then that way I have that there and I've kind of got... Um, I'm thinking about a few different things for most of you. So, Obviously, I would like to drive a pump and a motor to, like, I haven't actually considered much about how I'm going to, for example, water my um, water my plant using my dehumidifier. I'm not even sure I want to do that project. That's just the only thing I can think of doing right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of just going with the flow here. Things are probably going to change, but, you know, the ultimate goal is just to learn, right? So I'm not really too bothered about how the final pro product looks. But so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drill a hole through this and then just mount this down into the wood there and have that mounted down, screw this, this back on and then I've got my whole project here for now. And then as for what I'm going to attach next and do next, I really don't know. But yeah, let's screw this down. So this took me literally hours, like, and I'm so proud of it. Like, I, you know, things could be better, sure, but, you know, with what I've got, I'm very happy with it. So, if I now reset this, so that's mounted, that's stuck on there, yeah? So, hit my e-stop, reset, and then... Nice, man. Very nice. Got my mains cable coming in here, but then I've got my 24 volts coming here, going into those, coming around here. Output inputs there. It's look, man. It's like fully transportable. Can pick this up now and move it around. I've I've got a bunch of space as well. So what's that? That's like double the amount of space, right, down here. So I can put some other stuff here, and then I can easily just pick this up. Look at that. Oops. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And I've still got one uh, din rail spare as well. And I'd like to get some proper trunking and, you know, be able to trunk it all around here. So, yeah, man, I'm very happy with this. The one one thing I'm completely unhappy with is the fact that I can't get this sticker off. So if you have any advice about that, let me know. And yeah, I mean, just any other ways that I can improve this, uh, any advice, please leave it below, you know. I need to, I need to learn. And I'm excited to learn. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one, which I think I'd like to make a wiring diagram. Yeah.